I was like going like this, but wasn't looking at Don't you guys. Me. <laughs> <laughs> My hand, <name is> <laughs> My bitch. The thought of marriage might flood your brain with images of gorgeous attire, an amazing party, an unforgettable day, and the not.com, or it might scare you half to death. Either way, a not so glamorous step you must partake in before you say I do is to tie the proverbial knot with your spouse's finances. Studies say that the most commonly cited cause of divorce in the United States is unexpected financial stress. Welcome to this episode of Millennials to Millionaires, a show designed to give you up-to-date tips on managing your money. My name is Emily, this is Shawan, and that's Mallory. And today, we're going to arm you with the necessary but often forgotten about financial checklist for getting hitched. Number one, review your debt. Although talking about debt may be uncomfortable, it's one of the most important steps to take as past debts can affect your ability to buy a home, lease a car, and even rent an apartment. Create a net worth statement by adding up all of your debt as a couple. This statement will provide you with a clear picture of your overall financial condition and it will initiate the discussion on how to pay down your current and future debt. Number two, commingle your money. Some couples create a joint account. Another popular choice is to create a joint account that is used to pay the bills and a separate account for fun money. Or you could split the bills down the middle. The bottom line is, whether you divvy up paying the bills or have strictly one person in charge, both individuals should be aware of how and where their money is going. Number three, merge healthcare. Typically, it's less expensive for both spouses to be covered on one plan, but it really depends on your insurance carrier. Make sure you take a look at both employers' opportunities, make a pro and con list, and choose the option that gets you the best bang for your buck. Number four, create a budget and stick to it. Drafting up a budget can help you prepare for the future and stay clear of disagreements about overspending and racking up debt. One of the hottest new budgeting apps in 2017 is Pocket Guard. This app differs from various other budgeting apps in that on the home screen, it shows you how much money is in your pocket, your income, and how much you spent this month for a quick reference. Number five, talk about your financial goals. You may think this is jumping the gun, but it's imperative that you take inventory of any investing plans you're participating in and explore what your employers provide for retirement options. This is especially important if you both have long-term goals of eventually having children or traveling the world. Map out how much you'll need to accomplish these dreams and add it to your budget. Number six, newlywed administration. Where there's a will, there's a way. The last step is estate planning. Although this term seems a little out of touch with most millennials, it essentially just means you need to sit down and write up your will. This specifies how your estate will be managed after death and identifies guardians. Additionally, if either of you will be changing your name, you'll need to update your driver's license, passport, bills, and other important documents. Merging your finances with the one you love may seem like a lot of work, but it's a necessary and very fulfilling step. The key to keeping on top of your finances is to practice open communication and create a plan for moving forward. Has this been helpful for any brides or grooms-to-be? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear about your experiences. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to this episode of Millennials to Millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> Millennials. Did I say that? Millennials. Do I really? <laughs> I heard it. Millennials to Millionaires is brought to you by our sponsors, Life's Best Insurances. Big life events like getting married are perfect times to check out life insurance policies or get a life insurance checkup on your current policies. If you have someone who depends on you financially, you need life insurance. The best rate you can get for a policy is right now. A healthy individual in their 20s can get a 20-year, $250,000 term policy for roughly $13 a month. Get a quote in a matter of seconds at lifesbestinsurances.com and secure your future.